guys and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching another motivational cleaning video. Today I'm going to be sharing a messy house attack, cleaning and rearranging our kids bedrooms. It's been about nine months since we officially set their bedrooms up since moving in and it's finally about that time to switch things up a bit and refresh their bedrooms. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Vantasia. I am a wife and mother. I have three beautiful babies. And if you enjoy motivational cleaning videos like this, I would love to have you join our family by hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Today, I started off with me attacking our kids' daily messes, but without even thinking about it beforehand, I started to rearrange London room in the middle of cleaning. Let me know down in the comments if you guys do this, if you will start a task and you'll think to yourself like, hmm, I've been thinking about doing this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this done and do that instead, let me know. Since moving in almost a year ago, I finally have an eye for how I want our future home and I want our decor to look. And with London telling me not too long ago she wanted to move her room around, I thought we'd start in a kid's room, refreshing things and coming up with the base plan and layout for how we want things to look in the future. The only thing that I decided to take out of London's room is the nightstand that you guys see here. I know you can't tell on camera, but off camera and in true light, this nightstand is completely ruined and we really need to fix it up. So I'm going to move it to the garage until we have time to fix it up and then we'll move it back to London's room whenever we can. Whenever I was moving London's room around, I wanted to try two different setups that I couldn't stop thinking about. So I wanted to try her bed against the wall like you guys see right here. And then I wanted to try her bed in the middle of the room, which is how we are going to eventually do the room. So whenever I was going through this, it was really hard because I did have my lights and my equipment set up. So I did have to take different avenues whenever I was rearranging her room, but I still do love how it turned out. If you are a return subscriber, then you probably remember this bed being Jaden's, and it was. We got this from Amazon a little over a year ago, and when the boys got bunk beds, we moved London to a bigger bed. 
We know it doesn't match her room, but it has really worked out for us and we haven't had any issues with this bed thus far. So we're gonna keep it until London moves up to her bigger bed. Right now, I wanna freshen up London's bed. She does suffer from eczema, so we keep her bedding fresh to help out with her breakouts, if any. Her bedding is from Target, and she's had it for a little over a year now. And honestly, she's been rocking pink for a long time too, you guys. So with us wanting to refresh our home, we did get the kids some new room decor to switch things up and refresh them. So make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos, especially our kids' room refresh. I wanted to add London's original princess poster to her room, but you guys, we do have to get that cleaned off. So I'll add that in her room refresh video. And you guys, I just want to say that we have come a long way in the past two and a half almost three years with our babies in their rooms we've slowly added what our budget has allowed and now we are finally moving things and prepping it and putting it all together more than ever and i'm just so excited In the boys' room, I wanted to focus on their bunk bed and get in their bookshelf home. Jaden has grown and is maturing on so many levels, it's ridiculous and it's happening so fast. He recently told us that he didn't want to share bunk beds, he wanted his own bed. So today we're going to be separating them to see what we can come up with. The bunk bed that we have for the boys is from Big Lots. We got this about nine, 10 months ago and it has held up so nicely. We absolutely love it. The boys have loved it thus far. And as I said before, we got this bunk bed because we thought it would be perfect for the boys to have sleepovers, including London. But now that they have grown up and they don't, they aren't doing that anymore, especially on school nights. We're just gonna go ahead and get them separated so Jaden can have his own bed. And that is the joy in having bunk beds that you can separate is now Jaden gets to have his own bed per his request and he gets to feel 
independent and on his own and not like he's sleeping with his brother every single night. Okay, you guys, so while we were in the boys' room, I'm just going to be honest. I am that person, whenever I have an idea in my head, I go full force, and I don't really think about all the technical stuff, like the measurements. That is Jaquelin's category. So whenever I was moving the room around, I had my idea, and I just wanted to go with it. So Jaquelin was trying to tell me, well, he did tell me, that the layout that I wanted, it wouldn't fit the layout of the room, and we wouldn't be able to make the most of our space. So we had to come up with a different layout that fit what I wanted but also fit the way that the room layout is so we could make the most of our space. When we moved the boys room around and I saw this angle of Jaden's space, you guys, my heart, I'm telling y'all, my heart rebuilt, y'all. It really did because my little boy, my firstborn, he has grown and he is so big and I'm just so proud of him. And seeing his personal space and how it turned out, it really made me happy and now I'm just super excited to go in and refresh it and decorate it exactly how he wants it to be. And I can't wait to share that video with you guys. I was really happy that we didn't have to get rid of the bookshelf from the boys room. Seeing how small their room was, I was scared that Jaden wouldn't be able to have a book stand or a nightstand. So seeing that he can have a book stand and that we can use this in place of the nightstand, it makes me so happy.
Seeing Jonah's new space, it honestly made me so happy. I was a little scared to move him over to his own bed because Jonah, he does not really like change. He have he would freak out, you guys, about anything that is different. So I was a little scared and hesitant to move his room around like this. However, Jonah absolutely loves his own space. And we've had their rooms like this for a few days now, and he has not touched the bookshelves at all. So I'm really proud of him and really happy. At the end of the night, he'll just wait for me to grab a book and we'll read it before bed. London, however, that's a different story. Now, I also wanted to say I do realize that Jonah's bed is backwards. The entryway to his bed is not where it's supposed to be. And we'll get that fixed in the upcoming days. We have to take the bed apart, so we'll get that done when we can. So I wanted to take the turtles to get their bi-weekly bath and then I wanted to also let them out so they can get their house cleaned. It's not something that I do personally, it's something that Jaquan does with the kids. I am super scared of anything that crawl honestly, so 9 times out of 10, you won't even see me touch the turtles. However, I will take them to go get cleaned so I can finish up doing what I'm doing. And if you guys remember the very last time I was arranging the boys room and I put the turtles in here, I was super scared that the turtles were going to scratch this dresser, but it's held up really nicely. And the boys absolutely love having their turtles in their room. Ever since we've had the turtles, the boys seriously do the most, you guys. I cannot make anything up. But... You guys, it's something that we can't get rid of these turtles. We absolutely love them. I did have my doubts, but they are here to stay. Right now, I just wanted to come into London's room to give it a good wipe down and also take care of the floors as far as vacuuming and making sure all the nooks and crannies are clean. I wanted to separate this because honestly and truth be told, you guys, it is a lot of work moving around my lights and my equipment and also having the kids run around. So I like to take breaks and then whenever I come back, I will then go through and just straighten everything up once again and wipe everything down. It is so much easier on my back and I don't have to do a lot of moving around when it comes to the lights and my equipment.
The pink princess chair that you guys see in London's room, we got this from Amazon. Honestly, even her dresser we got from Amazon, you guys, the bed too. But we got this pink princess chair about a year ago and it has held up so nicely. We most definitely have gotten our money's worth from that chair. I remember whenever I first bought it and a couple people thought that London would outgrow it within a few months and it was just a waste of money. However, it has been so great to us and London absolutely loves it. We use it in the morning whenever she's getting her hair done, also whenever she's reading books or just sitting down to watch TV. It has been an amazing addition to her room and I'm a little sad to see it go but I'm excited about the new chair that she's going to get because I know it's going to be beautiful too and it's going to flow with her room so well. I was really happy that we've been cleaning and organizing and rearranging things in our home anyway because I was able to add a bookshelf to London's room and it just felt so good to see the books that we love reading to her out on display. London absolutely loved it and now she just gets to walk in her room and see all of her favorite things on her bookshelf and she gets to use it and she has been using it every single day since. So here's a quick look at how London's room turned out. I am absolutely in love. It is so put together and I feel like we have so much more to work with and so many different avenues to just add different things and bring personality and character into the room.
I did have to pop back into the boys room to wipe down their TV and then I also wanted you guys to get a glimpse of the clean turtle tank however this is how the boys room turned out I am completely in love with this as well we're still rocking with the bookshelf but I'm really happy to see that Jaden has his own space Jonah has his own space and I'm excited about the future and what's to come make sure you guys stay tuned because I will have before and afters at the very end aside from that thank you guys so much for watching